This is Chris Campbell. I'm a Master Black Belt in the Operational Excellence area of Country Financial. I'm delighted to talk to you this afternoon about how we've used the Quality Group to build a culture of continuous improvement. To provide a little bit of background on the company, we were formed in 1925 by a group of Illinois farmers providing fire and lightning insurance. Currently, we have more than 3,000 employees with over 2,000 financial representatives, uh, and our vision is to be the best provider of financial security in America. So our challenge was, in 2009, we instituted operational excellence using the Lean Six Sigma methodology in the company. But rather than being a, an area of consultants, we wanted to promote this culture of continuous improvement among the employees, empower them to have the authority to identify improvements to their processes moving forward. And we wanted to encourage that so that along the way they can make their life better, ultimately making the experience for the customer a better journey. We were a little challenged as to how we were going to do that. Previously, ideas came from periodic corporate initiatives, came from the executive office, pockets of idea generation programs. Um, there was nothing really standard about the suggestion process. In fact, a lot of times suggestions were made. They went into a quote-unquote black box, and nobody knew what happened to them. So where we headed was, can we build that standard process for how frontline employees should be submitting ideas? Uh, working with the quality group, we created a one-hour awareness module, we call it, that we actually strongly encouraged every employee to go through. That module does just as it says. It gives some awareness on the methodology itself, as well as um, how to participate in a project, what's expected, how they can come up with ideas. And then finally, you can see on the right-hand side of the screen that formal submission process. So we have a form which an employee can fill out, very much follows um, a traditional DMAIC methodology, if you're familiar with that. But then it goes to a committee. The committee helps determine whether that's a traditional project, if it's a quick win or an everyday OE, operational excellence type idea, or if it should be flushed out a little further and goes to the operational excellence area for a more formal effort. So far, um, employees can take this module at their own pace. Uh, it's roughly an hour, as we mentioned. Uh, it is strongly encouraged. But then they can spend more time improving the processes. They, they know how to look at their process a little differently. They see how their process fits into a bigger picture and how it impacts the customer experience. But at, at the, the bottom line on the right-hand side, you can see the, just learning better with a sustained module. Uh, which is there as they need to go back and get a refresher on what the methodology is, what the process is, where the form is. So here you can see a snapshot from the course itself. Um, what you get, this was a very custom created course for Country Financial. Um, what you can't see by looking at this is it's very visually appealing. There's movement on the screen. It's interactive with knowledge checks. Um, it's a very eye-catching, so it's not a static PowerPoint presentation where you go from slide to slide. Um, as I mentioned, the, both the, the visually appealing aspect as well as the knowledge checks, uh, it has been very well received by all of those who have completed the module. One of the things we also plugged into this was a survey. So at the end of the awareness module, there's a short survey that we ask folks to complete. And we're looking for, as you can see, um, when they get done with that, how comfortable are they with the methodology? Do they understand it? Um, how encouraged are they to participate in everyday OE? Will they submit some ideas? How do they think it's going to work? Um, and then the last question on the page here you can see is, how do you perceive your role? Uh, overwhelmingly, it's been well-received and very positive. Frontline employees really love the fact that Someone uh, in higher positions are listening to them, the ones doing the work. They can now use this formal process, submit their ideas. They can monitor it and see where the idea is in the process. Uh, and ultimately, they're recognized when we do implement one of their ideas. So what's next? 
Well, in addition to the, the one-time release of the awareness module, we have built this into new hire onboarding. So they all have the same experience, the same opportunity to listen to this or, or watch this video. Uh, we want to continue to modify and, and leverage that survey. Um, it has sat stagnant for a few months. We want to go back in, readjust that, make sure it's meeting our key performance indicators and what we're looking for out of the, the continuous improvement program. Uh, and we're going to continue to seek those, those additional ways to leverage that web-based training. Uh, that does seem to be the wave of the future, and we want to see how that fits with an instructor-led training and, and how to best give the experience for belts. Um, I guess when I say belts, green belts, black belts, folks in the Operational Excellence Program.